Hello and welcome to Flory Models Kit Review Time. Although it's not really a kit, it's more of a prop. Uh, as you might know, I'm quite into my props. Uh, I do build quite a few of them. I do enjoy doing them, things like that. And then this little thing turned up. So what have we got here? This is an 88 millimeter tiger shell. Yes one-to-one -one scale tiger shell. Now, to be honest with you, I've got one upstairs and it's an inflatable one and it looks very impressive. And then this thing came along. So this is made by Pig Models, one-to-one -one scale. And again, it says on here that it's an 88 millimeter uh, shell. Um, there's not really a lot you can talk about when you're looking at the box because there's not a lot in it. Okay, and to be honest, there's not a great deal inside. Uh, one wouldn't have thought. So what we've actually got in here, is a tube, okay, oh, with something else, there we go, and we've got some other bits, and we'll stick that there. What we're going to do, we're going to put this down here, just for a moment, and with the other bit of paper, and we can show you on here. Okay, so, what you've actually got is this. So you've actually got the tube, uh, which is actually the actual body uh, from the actual cartridge, uh, of the shell itself. You've got the shell housing and the various parts on here like that. Instructions consist of clean off any flash you might find, polish it like crazy to get a nice metal finish, tiny little hole to fill and all the rest of it, and then use super glue basically for gluing it together. And if you wanted to as well, you could super glue the actual uh, shell, the projectile onto the actual end. That is it, there's not a lot to it. What you do get though, is this, which is actually something quite cool. You've actually got a plastic stencil. So this is so you can spray it. So you've basically got a mask, one and two, uh, three and four like this, to actually put the details for the shell onto it like that. So, I'll get one end out. Here it is, I can't get it out. Ah. Ah. Do you know what, I don't think it's that serious. I don't think it wants to come out. It doesn't want to come out. Hold on, let's do this. So what you've actually got is, still doesn't want to come out, it must be the other end. Hold on, if I get all of this off, what you've actually got is, there we go, try again. <laughs> that, no sniggering at the back please. <laughs> And that, so you've got the actual, as you can see, uh, it's got the court, the edges on it and all the rest of it. And then you've actually get this bit, which will be your plate and the primer. Okay, so let's have a look at this bit first. So this is your rear, you can see, just down on here like that. Put it on the close up, there we go. And as you can see, you've actually got the primer for it, which then fits in. Nice thing about that, because they're separate, you can do these metals and do them separate. And then again, it's dated and everything, 1941, 88 millimeter flak. Okay, so that's the back plate. So technically what you're gonna do is, this bit's gonna go onto here, and then obviously you'll glue it into place. You'd paint it all, and then you have got your one-to-one -one scale shell, just like that, okay? Then you've got the actual head itself, okay? From the actual projectile, and as you can see, doesn't look much like this. And this is the thing, you have got to do a little bit of cleanup, because you can see on here, got a little bit, and you've got like a, a seam running down. So you're gonna to wanna to polish these up. I don't know if there's an actual seam on this. Yes, there is. So you've got a seam line running right the way down in here, and on the other side as well. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure those have gone, because obviously they don't have seam lines. And then you've actually got the shell itself, and then this bit will then, will, with a nudge, fit in just like that. And you do end up with a one-to-one -one scale tank shell. And again, it's one of those things you think to yourself, first of all, you think that's really cool and I want one. Then you think to yourself, what are you gonna do with it? And then you think to yourself, I've got a hundred things I could do with it. <laughs> so it would be one of those things, I think it will look absolutely fantastic in anybody's man cave or anybody's collection. You could put it on the wall, you could have it stood in the corner, you could do so much with these things. It's something that's very, very simple because it literally is just a plastic tube and a molded head. But when the painting's done correctly and done nicely, and I'll be honest with you, one of the Flory Models members did a stunning job on this and it just looks like the real thing. It looks solid metal. So what I would plan to do, and I am planning on building, building one of these, put it all together and I'm gonna fill up with sand gonna give it some weight because I'm gonna have it probably as a doorstop because it's be a very, very cool doorstop. 
But there we go. So obviously, once you've got it together, you've got your bits in like that, you've got your mask, you actually take them into place. You probably want to make it a little bit rough. You probably don't want to go in there and make it neat because the reality is they weren't. Okay, so you could do some fantastic painting and weathering on this one. You could do it with metalizers, you could do it with buffer balls. There's so many different ways you can do with this one. I even thought about when I first did this one about using plating, uh, of using foil and do it in that way uh, to give that brass effect for the actual shell casing right the way through just like that but there we go that's picked models one to one scale 88 millimeter shell